Hey everybody, today I'm going to go through and show you how to make a timeline similar to this one in Excel. It'll be completely customizable and you'll be able to put in anything that fits your needs. To get started, we're going to start on just a blank sheet with nothing on it. The first thing that we're going to want to do is towards the top, you can see that it defaulted to the Home tab. We're going to click on the Insert tab. And from here, I'm going to go over to the Smart Art section, and I'm going to click the little drop-down arrow next to it. You can see here that it gives us a lot of different options on what to select. If you're looking to make a timeline, you're going to want to go over the Process drop-down, hover over it with your cursor, and then all these options are going to appear that you can select. Now, personally for me, I don't think that all of these work in the timeline setting necessarily, but you can experiment based on your needs. But if you look three rows down from the top, they've got some pretty standard ones that I feel fit most general timeline requirements. In this tutorial, I'm going to select the center one labeled Circle Accent Timeline, and once I've hovered over it, I just need to select it with my cursor. Once I've clicked on that button, you can see that this kind of blank, terrible looking thing appears in the middle of my screen. I'm going to move it over to the top left and I'm going to grab the bottom right corner and expand it so it's a little bit easier to look at. The first thing that I want to do is I want to click this little tab that's over on the left of it. And that's going to shoot out this little box here called Smart Art Text with a bunch of different just text boxes within it. You'll notice when you look at this that where the indents are correlate to the size of the circles. And what I mean by that is for this first indent that's all the way to the left, I could type something like Project Kickoff. And you can see as I was typing that, it actually appeared next to the big circle. Below Project Kickoff in the Smart Art Text area I'm still at, I could type in something on the more indented circles, like for example, Phase 1 and you can see it appears here. I could do this and label out multiple different things like phase two, and then with the power of editing, I can fill out these two bottom little circles by typing the indents here. And bam, magic, editing, there you have it, everything is filled in. So let's say that you've got your timeline going here, and it looks pretty good, but you know, these six circles is not enough. Well, to add more, all you need to do is click the bottom, phase or the bottom most indent I should say in the smart art text box and then you're going to click on the little plus over to the left and you can see when I did that it created a new indent which correlated with a new circle over here. If you want to make the circle bigger you're able to change where the indents are at with these two buttons here. So if I were to click left you can see that it creates a giant circle. I'm going to have this giant circle on my timeline correspond with, let's just say, project completion. And at this point, I feel like at least the information in my timeline looks good. Obviously, if you're doing this on your own, you could do different months here, you could label it something more unique than just phase, but you get the idea that you could really add a lot here and customize it based on your needs. The next thing that I want to change, because the information is good, is I still think that this looks pretty close to hot garbage. So I want to change how it looks. I'm going to click into the blank space around the, the timeline, click here, and then up top it automatically defaults to the Smart Art Design tab. The first thing that jumps out on me is change colors, which I think is something that I want to do. You can see when you click the drop down, you've got a whole bunch of different templates that are um, available to you to select. For my purposes, I think that this blue and orange one works the best. So I'm just going to click on that, but feel free to click any one that looks best to you. You can see that it changed then my center colors based on a certain theme, which I think is an improvement in my mind. The next thing that I want to do is I don't like just how plain each circle looks. So on the same tab, you can see to the right of change colors, you've got a bunch of different styles that you're able to select from. You can go through here and select different ones based on your needs. And you can see as I click each different style, it's changing how the circles in the timeline look. For the sake of simplicity, I think I'm just gonna go with this one. Up next, I really don't like that there's no background currently. So I wanna get more of like a solid color in the back. So I've clicked on my timeline again, and this time instead of the smart 
art design tab, I'm gonna go over to the format tab right next to it. I'm gonna click on that. And from here you can see that there's some fill options up top. So this shape fill actually is referring to the background of the timeline. So if I were to click the drop down next to the shape fill, I can select whatever color I want. Let's just say maybe blue and it will fill the background into a solid blue. Now, if you want to take this a step further, you can hit the drop down again of the fill bucket and select something like gradient towards the bottom, select any of the available options. I think this works fine for my purposes. And then it gives it a little bit more of a polished, maybe dynamic look. Not gonna lie, I thought that uh, blue looks pretty putrid, so I actually went ahead and I changed it to green, which might not be the best thing in the world, but I think it's an improvement. Similar to the background, we also have the ability to change the text in any way that we want. And in order to do that, you just need to click on the text that you want formatted, highlight it, and then all you need to do is click in this area to see all of your text format options. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm going to change the color of my text. And to do that, we want to click the text fill drop down. I think in this example, we could change the text color to, let's say, orange. And when I click off of it, you can see that it has switched the area that I highlighted to an orange color rather than the black. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight the text again. I'm going to go into text effects and I'm going to click the drop down right next to it again. From here, I've got several options, such as shadow, reflection, glow, and you can go through and see what each of these does and get an example of it. But let's just say to keep things simple that I want things to glow. You can go in and you can select any of the available options. For this, I'm just gonna click the top one. And now when I click off, you can see that the text has got kind of like a warm glow around it rather than just the flat, uh, very within the lines text that it was before. Overall, making timelines in Excel is a pretty straightforward process. You can see when you look into the Smart Art Design tab and the Format tab that you really have endless ways to customize these and make them look good for your unique setting. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and give the video a like. If you're struggling in Excel on any topic, make sure to put it in the comments below and I'll make a video to help you out on it. Thanks again.